Alright, so African grey abscess. Everyone likes the abscess coming out. See the abscess? Yummy. So this is what a big abscess in the African grey looks like. This is typical of a, of a, of, of a bird that's um, had no vitamin A in its diet. So I'm an African vet, as you guys can probably hear from the very cool accent. And in, in Africa, they feed them African sunflower seeds, which is not the ideal diet. Um, this little bird doesn't only get sunflower seeds, it gets grey sunflower seeds, which uh, people think there's a difference between the black and the grey, but nutritionally that's about the same. There's many things deficient besides being high fat, but the big issue in African grey specifically is there's no calcium, so they can have fitting attacks, which, we, which is very common in South Africa. And the second thing is abscesses in the eye and the back of the throat and the, and the beak and the oral cavity. For some of the vets watching it, you get squamous metaplasia of epithelia. It changes the resiliated respir respiratory epithelia, which gives you protection. to it loses their cilia and they're prone to all these abscesses. Pretty much like influenza virus does to humans. So that abscess, although it's not crystal clear, we took out so much pus. I mean, it's just poured out pus from the eye. We cleaned and flushed. And this little bird from looking close to death yesterday looked really poor. It's looking so much better. I'll... I'll I'll take him out. He's only got one leg. He had a predator attack years ago. This is at his crop feed, but I know when the... We'll try and take his... So he's just so much more animated, happier, he's less septic. So it's... Although it still looks pretty big and swollen, but you saw in the video we took out half a teaspoon of pus um, we haven't done anything on the other eye life is not as easy as it should be it's the easter public holiday and we don't really have after hours facilities for birds there's not many clinics and because people don't take birds to vets like they should they're not treated the same as dogs and cats there's no emergency centers and many vets can't really do birds competently so we hoping i think this guy's going to do really well i'm hoping to see him back straight after the easter weekend or straight after we get back and uh, this is a great case, a great outcome. So emergency surgery yesterday and going on today. And uh, what you can also see, which is pretty cool, is only got one leg. So birds can actually do very well on one leg. In fact, he's really, really <laughs> not letting go. <laughs> I mean, you can see him getting around, perching, eating with just one leg. There you go. Very happy. Being quiet now that I'm filming. <laughs>